Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a really great day. Today I'm going to be talking about Vampire Survivors and why it is the best indie game of the entire year. Vampire Survivors has been out for a while. In fact, I think it released in early access earlier this year, but it finally reached an official launch October 20th of this year. So, what do I think about Vampire Survivors? Why am I claiming it to be the best indie game of the year? And Honestly, it's one of my favorite games of the entire year. Let's go ahead and get right into it. What is Vampire Survivors? Why has everybody been talking about it? It's coming to Game Pass very soon, so you're gonna have a chance to try it, but it's also extremely cheap at only $5. So I highly recommend picking this game up before I even get into talking about it. You're not gonna be disappointed unless you're under the mayo. So essentially what Vampire Survivors is, it is a passive style bullet hell game. Now for those of you not familiar, bullet hell is essentially you against a multitude of different enemies, shooting projectiles or fighting them off in big hordes. And the game excels at creating this atmosphere of being overwhelmed while also being incredibly powerful. Which honestly, I can say I haven't really felt so empowered by a game in a long time. Especially with a game that has a simple premise as much as Vampire Survivors does. Vampire Survivors makes no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It is a gameplay centric game. There is no story. There's not even like a lore book or like logs of different characters or anything like that. No, it is very straightforward. And honestly, I find that kind of refreshing in an age where every game feels like it has to punch above its weight in a story or atmosphere. Even if the game doesn't really have a story worth telling, it still feels like it has to give you these logs and these codex pages and everything for you to read. And Vampire Survivors just says, screw it, I'm not giving you anything. Which thankfully plays to its strength, because its biggest strength is its gameplay. Its gameplay is immaculate, and it is the most simple thing possible. The only thing you have to do in Vampire Survivors is walk around, collect orbs, and kill enemies. And as you do this, you continuously progress and level up, and your runs get bigger and more chaotic and more hectic, and things become incredible. What's so brilliant about Vampire Survivors is its way that it plays with your expectations of what it is. Originally, looking at this game, it does not really look that amazing. It does not even really look that engaging. But as you slowly play it, you start to realize that you get all these different characters, and you get these unlocks, and you start to see the meta progression seep in and you start to understand that this game has a lot more layers of complexity than it wants you to believe it does and that's kind of where the beauty and the masterclass of a game like this really shines. This game doesn't try to overload you with complex mechanics or really challenging RPG elements. There's certainly RPG elements, but it does not try to crowd you with anything other than what the game requires from you. And honestly, it's really nice and just really refreshing to play a game that does not require me to have a bunch of crazy button inputs and something that stays simple and it has a singular vision and it sticks to it. Something I haven't really mentioned yet is the fact that all of your attacks are an auto cooldown, which immediately kind of seems like, okay, well, if I don't have control over my attacks, how does that really make the game tactical? And what it does is it creates this format for you to move your character and position your character in a way that is going to take out the most enemies efficiently as possible. And it really creates this strong loop of creativity with all the different weapons and all the different features and styles of play you get out of this one type of game. I did mention earlier that there were some RPG-esque elements to it, and where that comes into play is every time you level up, you get to choose a new weapon, or you get to choose to upgrade the current weapons that you have. Now what that does is it creates this meta-style loop of trying to figure out what will create the best possible combination for you to achieve your run. The runs normally last 30 minutes because what happens is once you get to 30 minutes, things get exponentially crazier and Death ends up coming for you. Yes, death himself literally has to stop you at the 30 minute mark because of how crazy powerful you are. The game is really, really good at being deceptively simple because when you start a run, especially with certain characters, it can feel kind of slow and your walking speed is down and you're like, okay, I'm not really doing a lot. I don't really see 
how this is going to exponentially get bigger but what it does is it plays with your expectations and quickly becomes just this one more match one more run one more try to win this round and it's so great and one of the things i really appreciate is they've actually created quite a bit of content for this game they added a bunch of new characters they added a, a bunch of new stages some new music as well as offering things like hyper mode and then in, in challenge maps they've really gone above and beyond of adding a lot of content to this game that is only five dollars like it is incredible how much content is in this small little indie game and the most most amazing part to me is the fact that this game is so unassuming it is just purely gameplay focused there's no extra bells and whistles it is you buy this game and you get the content that the game delivers I also would like to touch on the art style I think the art style for this game is incredible you don't really get a lot of chances to really appreciate it because it's really only kind of in the menu screens and on the title cover art but I really love this Castlevania esque style that they're going with I really love the Castlevania series as well, so the fact that Vampire Survivors plays with a lot of your expectations for what an item does that looks like it's ripped straight from Castlevania, the fact that you literally have your first character that you play as literally wields a whip, it's just so much fun. This game does an incredible job at providing the most amount of fun for the lowest amount of cost, and I really respect the hell out of it for that. There's also something to be said about the fact that the enemies that they managed to fit on screen are numerous and it must have been so crazy to try and keep that all balanced but the fact that it manages to stay as consistent as it does and manages to stay balanced I am just incredibly impressed by. And going back to the art style for a minute I would like to also mention that the art style in the game itself like the pixel art is done incredibly well. Once again it very much harkens back to old Castlevania they changed up a lot of the names to avoid copyrights for obvious reasons but this game literally feels like an homage to Castlevania but with a completely different gameplay twist to it and I really appreciate that also this game's soundtrack is amazing I was at first like okay they just have this one track on the very first stage that was really good but I was like I wonder what the rest of the music sounds like the moment you get into a new stage you can really appreciate the amount of variety and the really great two that they have with this game they did an incredible job with the soundtrack as well overall this game is just really well polished and I'm really surprised by that I know the game being a retro style looking game doesn't really seem like polish is all that important but with a game like this it's very hard to balance all the amount of systems and numbers and things that go behind it so the fact that it manages to feel fair and consistently through is really impressive to me it's also one of the first roguelike games that I feel like is very much much fair like it does a great job of letting you know you are in control of just moving your character and if you move your character into a wrong spot that was on you I could gush about this game way longer than I have already, but basically what it boils down to is you should absolutely go and buy this game if it looks at all appealing. And even if it doesn't, I recommend you give it a try. It is actually on Xbox Game Pass for PC, and then it is coming to Xbox consoles on November 10th. So this week, you'll get a chance if you have an Xbox console, if you don't have a PC, to play this game. I strongly encourage you to give it a shot because honestly, it is the epitome of that one more game, one more match, one more round, let me try this one more time. And it is the most fun I've had in a game, definitely since Elden Ring, but in the terms of the year, it is my second favorite game of the year by far. Also, a special note since I talk so much about Steam Deck, it runs fantastically on Steam Deck, and honestly, it is probably one of my favorite and most played games on Steam Deck. It is phenomenal on Steam Deck, it runs perfectly, no problems, and you can easily probably squeeze about five or six hours of battery life on the Steam Deck just playing this game. It also runs really well docked. I've docked it on the TV multiple times and played this game. I was up to like three in the morning the other night playing it, so very well put on Steam Deck. I think you're gonna have a great time with it if you choose to play it there. 
And that is my review for Vampire Survivors. Tell me, what do you think about Vampire Survivors? Is it a game you've played? Is it a game you're looking to play? I would love to know what you think about it. If you like games like this, is there a game like this that I'm missing that is just as good, if not better? I would love to know. Feel free to leave some comments below with some recommendations. Thank you so much for watching and following my content. It really does mean a lot, and I really mean that. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and stay safe.